Well, basically, the first leg of the trip, this isn't gonna work. I'm guessing you try it like this. Now you won't hear the wind. Also, I'm like squinting. So I'm like that. It's not gonna work either, I don't think. Let's talk the first leg of the trip. The first leg of the trip through Florida. Not the best. First day of the trip was just from my house in Miami to Tallahassee, Florida, which is about eight hours. I don't know if you have ever driven through Florida, you will know that it is the most boring drive. All right, we are almost in Tallahassee. I think we have about, I don't know, 40 minutes or so to go. Sailor's back there sleeping. I had to stop and teach one lesson. I stopped at a McDonald's because they have free Wi-Fi. So I was like, okay, stop there. Um, I didn't want to go inside. I don't even think you can go inside with COVID. I don't know, but uh, so I had Sailor in the back seat. And the thing was that the second we started the lesson, um, this like family of geese went by. Hey. Hey, Sailor. So anyway, so she starts going crazy and I'm like muting the lesson like so they don't hear her like it was already just kind of weird and unprofessional as it was that I was in a car. Whatever, it was fine. Um, we got through it, we did it. And I went to the, uh, to a rest stop and took Sailor out. Then uh, she stepped in someone's spit out gum. After she stepped in someone's gum, she stepped on someone's disgusting cigarette butt which got stuck into the gum on the bottom of her foot. Even though I've sanitized my hands 15 times since then, I still feel contaminated. So I booked it through Florida and I stayed with my friends, um, my friend Nick and his wife Amanda, and then their two kids in Tallahassee. And uh, so Nick and I pretty much grew up together. No, we did grow up together. He's my best friend's older brother. Um, so I went and stayed with them in Tallahassee. And we took out the golf cart and just cruised all over the golf course by his house because half of it is um, kind of run down. Like they closed part of it and then left the other part open. So only half of it is like maintained. So a lot of people do golf cart rides. They do the four wheelers. They ran over all over the defunct nine. So we just took out the golf carts and cruised around. He had um, stale leftover hot dog hamburger buns and we took it to one of the lakes on the golf course and fed the turtles and they were like bup, 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 bup. you can see the little heads popping up doo, 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 doo. and um that was cool the kids love that then we went hunting for mushrooms i believe they were chanterelle mushrooms but they're like the orange ones whatever those are but so the whole time i was with them which was, i just stayed with them for a night but the whole time i was kind of worried about like okay tomorrow's the big day like tomorrow's the first day i'm gonna actually like car camp in my car which I've done before just kind of like one off you know like, I don't know just wherever I've car camped it's been fine but I was nervous because a I have a 2003 forerunner and I know like a little bit about cars but I don't know a ton and it was also my first time that I was going to be actually like boondocking like tomorrow's the day I have to actually go out there however that didn't end up being the plan because of tropical storm what tropical storm was it there was a tropical storm that went through and my campground that was supposed to be the next night in i think it was near hattiesburg mississippi just somewhere in mississippi this campground was on a lake and after a tropical storm goes through lakes flood there could have been flooding i didn't even know if the campground was open so um i ended up getting a hotel in hattiesburg mississippi what do you think home for the night all right. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. So, um, basically I ended up just going to get some Mexican food. Okay, so we're staying in a hotel tonight and I don't have enough hands to like carry everything we need to bring up. It's even harder to stay in a hotel for a night when you are prepared for car camping because it's not like I have a suitcase and I just bring the whole suitcase in with me. I put sailor's food in the bag. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here's one part. Basically the car have everything right there. 
I don't even know. What, what am I doing? We're relaxing at the hotel, watching Hoarders, enjoying our last night of luxuriating. So this was the last night in a, um, in civilization, I guess. So that means laying in bed, watching murder mysteries and taking a shower and just, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, it was nice to actually have that hotel room because in that, um, that morning when we woke up, I could leave Sailor in the room so I could go run errands and not have to leave her in the car. So I went and got um, some supplies. Anyway, yeah, it was my last night of um, civilized society living before going off grid. Off grid, not really. Day three was Hattiesburg to Winsboro, Texas. So Winsboro, Texas was the first night that we actually went dispersed camping. We found a free campsite on a lake. It was kind of in this rural area, which was really cool. It was the first time Sailor saw cows and horses and she was losing her mind. So you can see on the video, she's just like shaking and crying, like not crying, but she's like whining. That took her thing on cue. Yes. <laughs> whining is her thing when she's excited or impatient, which is all the time. But um, so we ended up getting our own loop on this lake. So it was kind of like different, like peninsulas almost like like a cove and then like another spot. So Sailor started um, she hasn't really been exposed to the water that much. Anyway, point is she's been in the water a little bit, but not really. So this was like her first time. By the second morning, she was super excited. So that was fun for her. She had fun. I had a meltdown. Yeah, it's a squeeze in that car. And basically I realized once everything was in, like the bigger things, like Sailor's box for her food, Oh my God, it was just so hot. Anyway, I got really frustrated and had like a whole meltdown. Ended up being like, I can't do this. Why am I doing this? This was the worst mistake I've ever made. Like I want to just turn around and go home, but I've come this far. I can't just go from Texas back to Miami. Like, you know, ego, failure, blah, blah. But also excited. I just wanted to get through the South to get to the good stuff, you know? Um, all the stuff I had planned was pretty much from that spot in Texas North. Every night, I'm gonna have to rearrange everything, take everything out, get her in, then I get in. And then in the morning, take all that stuff out again. She can get out. So basically I'm just shifting stuff around, I'm just moving things. So now I'm gonna sit. There's a little bit of a breeze on this lake now. Sailor's having a blast. Hey, hey, uh-uh, no, no. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this view is what I'm gonna do and hopefully sleep. I hope that breeze comes back so we can sleep. And then when it got dark, we went to sleep. It was so loud. The insects were deafening, like in a good way. It was really cool. But um, I actually took like a little sample, like a sound sample. Oh yeah, then I woke up in the morning. Something bit me. I can tell I have like a giant bite right here. That's gonna look good. It was our first night of dispersed camping. Sailor discovered that she loves cows. Um, I discovered that I <laughs> wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. So I guess that was the lesson of the first night. It was just a matter of getting used to things. I think it was also like a kind of emotional release after all the planning that went into getting this trip organized and um, it was finally happening. And you know, I knew it was gonna be difficult, but I don't think I realized how difficult it was going to be. Um, so anyway, that was kind of, it was a big learning curve there and I'm still learning it out here in beautiful Sequoia. I have neighbors over there and I'm still not comfortable just like talking to the camera like this. I can, I'm sure they can hear me and I'm super embarrassed, but I'm just going to do it. I did it. Anyway, so I'm going to go set up for tonight's camping and enjoy this, uh, all this. This is nice. Is that really loud? 